Everyone said there was something strange about the statues on top of the old law building. Something evil. I heard the undead soul of Frank Remington is trapped in it. And late at night, the satanic hunger takes hold, transforming it into flesh and blood. Frank Remington? Satanic hunger? I know. It's always the last person you'd expect. It sounds like some really dumb horror movie plot, but it's real. Okay, well, we all know our names, what college we went to, our favorite ice cream flavor. Mine, of course, is mint chocolate chip with a big wooden spoon and a romantic movie. Don't knock it till you try it. Um, is there anything else? Don't hook up with anyone in the law school, especially not in your small group. Too late! No, seriously, just trust me. Law school is just like high school. It's way too small. That's what she said! Everyone knows everything about everybody, and you have lockers. It's just... It's bad news, because when it goes sour, which it will, everybody knows right away. And they leave you stupid notes on your Facebook page, like, Oh, you guys are so good together, I can't believe you broke up, sad face. To, uh, you know, who breaks up with their girlfriend over text message, dick. That one was from my sister. Wait, you broke up with your girlfriend over text message? She was at her mom's wake, what was I supposed to do? Oh my god. Anyways. Don't date someone in law school, you see them everywhere. Okay, well, it works out well for some people. Our small group leader just married one of his small group friends. So, I guess the moral of the story is, don't hook up with Greg, because he'll break up with you over text message when your mom dies. I heard if you say Remington three times, the gargoyle comes to life and eats your face! Don't ever just stay away from that thing and stay out of the law school after 11 o'clock. If it's such a big deal, why is the school open later? Because they're afraid of what it will do if it doesn't feed. If you drop it on someone, if you trip on it, well, all it is, all it is is really just, it's just a glorified paperweight. And... Oh, really? Yeah. It's, it's pretty harmless. That's what Admissions wants you to think. Isn't it, Mr. Hall? Aren't you just the cutest little gargoyle? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. I can just eat you right up. Now sit. That's a good boy. See, he does what I tell him to do. He's not so scary. Well, if you're so tough, why don't you say it? If that's what it takes, Jesus. Remington. 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 Wait, stop. Never mind, you don't have to. Scared, huh? Remington. Ooh! Are you satisfied? It's just, I think it's creepy looking. Well, I've got something creepy looking for you. It turns to flesh and bone at night, and it's also called the gargoyle. My, aren't you romantic? My gargoyle is ready to terrorize the atrium. No! What if someone sees? And that thing is right over there. That's why it's so hot, baby. <sighs> you do want help with citations, don't you? <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> Montage. Yes, we need one of those. Of doom. Glorified paperweight, huh, Mr. Hall? Students are dropping out. Oh. A tale of terror, so terrible and terrifying. Wait, no, no. A tale of horror, so horrible and horrifying. You might wet your pants. Be sure to wear a diaper. The gargoyle. Terror in the atrium. <laughs> this film has been rated G for extreme. Gar